Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokendra Kumar and today we will discuss the topic which is structure of cilia and flagellum. So when we talk about the cell motility, the main structure that is responsible for the movement of the cell includes cilia and flagella. In this video we will discuss what is the structure or what is the detailed structure, what are the proteins, what are the different components. Now let's start with the the basic structure starting from the basal body. Basal body is the region of the flagellum or the cilia that is uh, going to provide the support to this particular cell structure. So from the outside you see that extension which is the plasma membrane. So in case of uh, eukaryotic cilia and flagella you have the extension of the plasma membrane. It is continuous. So cell's plasma membrane is going to, uh, uh, you know, continue on this particular organelle. And uh, one thing is important to note down that the composition, the lipid composition and the protein compo composition will change, specifically in case of cilia and flagella as compared to the cell membrane. Now here we are discussing the eukaryotic cilia and flagella. The structure of prokaryotic flagellum is quite different. And in case of prokaryotes, you don't have cilia. Now, as you can see, this is the uh, transfer section of the cilium or flagellum where you have uh, the outer membrane, which is the plasma membrane. Next to that is the these uh, doublets of the subfibers, and they are total nine in number. That is why it is also known as nine plus two arrangement because in the outside you have nine doublets, and in the center you have two subfibers. So total it becomes 9 plus 2 arrangement. So these are total 9 in number and in the center you have two subfibers and they are that's why they are like 9 plus 2 arrangement. Next to this you have some protein molecules here. I'm trying to represent the first protein which is outer dynein protein in red color. So let me label it down which is outer dynein protein. And there is another dynein protein, which is inner dynein protein. And the role of dynein protein is basically in the uh, change in the conformation of the this structure. So this one in the pink color is the inner dynein protein. So as you can see, you have two dynein proteins, outer and inner. In the center, you're seeing the connecting bridge. It's also known as central bridge structure and apart from this you have another structure which is spoke structure it has head and radial region so you can see a pointed region on the head which is uh, which is known as the uh, spoke head and then you have this elongated structure in this uh, yellow uh, yellow structure so this one is the radial spoke radial region of the of the spoke so these are the some of the important parts of this uh, cilia or flagellum structure next you have another protein as you can see i'm trying to connect all these uh, subfibers by using a red color uh, line and this is the nexin protein so these are some of the important points in case of the structure of the cilia and flagella uh, where uh, you have dynein protein, what are the role of dynein protein, proteins, and uh, what is the role of nexin protein. And then let me label these uh, round structure, which is subfiber A and subfiber B. Now, as you can see, the structure is almost completed. So this is the 9 plus 2 arrangement. And now uh, this this is the arrangement of the this long arm, this extended arm. It's quite long, so I've just cut it, cut it down because... Obviously, it's not going to, uh, you know, be structured into this particular video frame. And another thing is the these structures they are present on the surface of the cells. Now, let me clarify this point again: that in case of prokaryotic cells, you don't have cilia, and the structure of flagellum is quite different than the eukaryotic cell. In case of eukaryotic cell, this is the structural arrangement of the cilia and flagellum. We will discuss the structure of prokaryotic flagellum in in detail in our upcoming videos so please stay tuned 
And I hope that this video was helpful for you to understand the structure of cilia and flagella. So if you like all those videos, then please stay tuned to the channel and share all those videos with your friends. Thank you and take care.